Jack Farms, I know. It's looks very ritzy, doesn't it, hey? <laughs> right, the song, uh, it's called the Kookaburra Song. What's that a kookaburra laughing at me? He's laughing at, he's laughing at, he's laughing at me. Everybody minute he's laughing at me, cos me crops are dead. <laughs> <laughs> so you're a gent mum, Cheryl. Consider the resemblance. That's right. And you're her auntie or something. No, I'm Kim. I'm a mum too. Awesome. So it's not a surrogate situation. Good of you to keep her involved, Cheryl. Uh, Kim's my partner. We're same-sex parents. And I am so down with that. <laughs> Mr. Cooney, we'd like to talk about our daughter, Jenny. <laughs> pay me, pay me, pay me, pay me! The child support you owe me because I can't afford the groceries and I need to pay Declan's dentist bill and why does the school have so many excursions? Pay me, pay me, pay me, pay me! And can you have the kids this weekend? Because I've got a date. <laughs> Question. What are the chances of getting you guys to have a bit of a chat to the kids? Just give them the whole ins and outs of the lesbianic experience. <laughs> and raising a kid? Yeah, sure. Talk about the kids, sure. <laughs> but I think it'd be great for the kids to learn their options in terms of lesbianity. <laughs> Especially the girls. But we don't want to portray our relationship as being anything unusual. And there's nothing unusual about two young, nubile women exchanging their love on a full-time basis. Lesbosterone. <laughs> I don't think this is the right environment for our daughter. What's wrong with wanting to expand the kids' minds? We're definitely going to be taking Jenny out of your class. Sure, this is a beautiful thing. But seriously, consider my proposal. And if you don't want to do it in person, visual presentations are fine. <laughs> Slides, films, perhaps even a lifelike sketch. Oh. <laughs> and that's completely valid, man. No, seriously, I mean, can anyone have the kids this weekend? What are you doing this weekend? I mean, come on, you can operate a camera. Surely you can look after some kids. <laughs> anyone at all? Anyone? Come on. <laughs> hey. uh, can I have something soft, please? <laughs> Thank you. Good evening, I'm Sandra Seltry, and for the latest on the fires just north of the city, the WFA's Barry Buff is absolutely hot <laughs> from fighting the passion, rather, uh, I mean the fire. Uh, isn't that right, Barry? Uh, yes, Sandra, we are fighting the fire on two fronts. Now, the main blaze is coming in from over in the west, and we have a secondary front coming in from the southeast. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Barry. For those of us who missed that information, could you show us again, please, where those fronts were? Hi, Angie. It's me. Um, I just want to say that I thought our session today was am amazing. Actually, I thought it was a bit of a breakthrough. You always said that we have these feelings buried deep down, but I never really believed until today when everything just came bubbling up to the surface, the tears and the anger. I thought you were going to explode. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I never knew that you had so much repressed hostility just brooding inside you. And, like, the way it all started when you said, stop harassing my mother, but... You meant to say, stop harassing my wife, and I picked you up on that, and then you just totally lost it. <laughs> Interesting. Hmm. 
I think that we really have a lot to work on over the next couple of weeks. That's a very dangerous job you do, Barry. I presume your wife and children worry about you a lot. Um, actually, Sandra, I'm not married. Oh, thank you, God. <laughs> and thank you, Barry. Yeah, because I know that the person who you're really frustrated with is your wife, because you want to leave her, but you can't, because you know she'd just go mental and you couldn't live with the guilt. <laughs> because that would put a cloud over our relationship and we can't build our future happiness on the misery of another. No. So if we are to be together, we have to know that Judith will be happy. Or at least feeling no pain. <laughs> yeah, so you know how you tell me to start taking responsibility for my actions? Well, I think I know what you mean. <laughs> yeah, I get it. <laughs> okay, well, don't, don't worry, all right? I will take full responsibility for what has to be done. Okay, you just relax. <laughs> I'll take care of everything. <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs> Coming up, Naomi Watt said to Barry, I mean, Mary, and Barry is a love god, I do beg your pardon, I mean, Leighton Hewitt, through to the quarterfinals. <laughs> Look, Leanne, bananas are cheap. Whole bag, rehearsals, I find it best to remain cool, calm and conceited. Excuse Carla, I've done the leotards. No, but Deidre, they are completely the wrong colour. I remember specifically requesting the teal. But you said you wanted sequins. Deidre, go and do them again. But there's 140. Deidre, <laughs> need I remind you that I have power of attorney over your husband's life support arrangements? <laughs> That is a lovely definition, Ulrich. Some of you better work today. Look, um, I know this won't go any further, so I'll give you the heads up. Sophie Monk is in the G-string section at Leslie's Lawn Parade. <laughs> Sophie Monk, former pop star goddess, lost cleavage, making serious inroads in Hollywood. G-string section, <laughs> Leslie's Lawn Parade. They hear you. Who hear me? They hear you. They. They. Coo! Coo! Bravo. And you say it has a shed. Yes, yes, it has a shed. <laughs> oh, the great male shed, hey? Yes, men love their shed. <laughs> Where you go for your cave time while your wife is left with crying children and nappies. <laughs> oh, the male shed. Where you go to work on what the wife assumes is a handcrafted mahogany glory box for your firstborn. That is, until she goes into the shed and looks behind those barely used tins of lacquer to discover the entire series of big booby girls love tie men in rubber magazine. And she realises then that her husband has been turning his hand to an entirely different 
different sort of tool. And she swears to herself that she will never be anybody's fool again. Never, 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 never! <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm in the semi-professional video industry. I've got a project in the pipeline I think you'd be perfect for. <laughs> you know, you've got a very beautiful face. <sighs> I've uh, always wanted to be an actress. Mm. I've been looking for people with your sort of passion. <laughs> right. Let's see this flash dance of excellence number. Music? I personally think that some of the other girls are jealous of Kiki. Uh, and I mentioned this to Carla, but she just said, jealousy and dance schools go together like a $6 hooker and smack. <laughs> Sophie Monk was none too pleased. A bit precious if you ask me. But the management of Leslie's laundry was absolutely delighted. 1,500 people through the door, two and a half minutes flat. It's a shitload of people in g -stricks. Speaking of which, Victoria's Secret. Didn't even know they made them for me. They don't. Probably. <laughs> My mail is Mel Gibson is Jewish. <laughs> that whole thing with the cops was just a tirade of self loathing brought on after a nasty circumcision accident. Yeah, yeah, I'm with ya. I'm with ya. Hello. Plane ticket to Venice <laughs> in September. That's the off season. The festival's in December. You know where you can shove your goddamn gondola, you stingy bastard? You gotta be pulling a freaking leg! He's okay, mate. He's just got a touch of hay fever. Hey, you wouldn't have anything in business class, would you? So anyway, Mel. Oh, Jewish circumcision, nasty. I'm with you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, dirty. More, more. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Dirty. More, more. Oh, yeah. Dirty. More, more. Oh, yeah. Dirty. More, more. Oh, yeah. Dirty. 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 Ladies and gents. In response to the shoplifting incident last Thursday, Mark would like to read the following statement. Huh? <laughs> I wish to apologise uncomfortably, unconditionally, unconditionally <laughs> to the proprietors of Wedgedale Plaza and the staff of Ladies Lingerie. I'm not proud of what happened and have today returned all lingerie mistakenly admired. Acquired. Acquired. <laughs> I have come to terms with my chlamydia. Kleptomania. Clubmania. Klepto. My, my mania. <laughs> and am demented. Determined. De determined <laughs> to change my ways. Thank you. People, look, let's be clear. Mark isn't guilty. He's ill. 
all right? And you don't get to become a world champion without some sort of obsessive compulsive outlook. I have here an official diagnosis from a qualify... It was... It was... Where's the... Hey, Jack. That's... that's pretty good. Oh, yeah. Could be worse. You've certainly got an imagination. Imagination? Nah. Nah, it's all up here, mate. Painted from memory. Up there. Really? Yeah. When did the farm look like this? 1983. Yeah. <laughs> year after foot and mouth, year before the prickly pear. Remarkable. And what's this painting called? I call this one. Two hours before the locusts arrived. See, this is a sickness, all right? This hasn't been motivated by need or greed. Mark has plenty of cash, all right? And he certainly doesn't have a need for women's undergarments. Uh, no, these actions are inexplicable. They're impulsive, but they are treatable. Uh, like my gambling? Yep. And my sex addiction? Yeah, thanks, Mark. Now, look, uh, I don't have any more time to go into the details. I so, oh, no. Where's my... Your pen? No, my watch. And my pen. <laughs> On a final note, the following items will be returned forthwith to their rightful owners. <laughs> the ashes, the Davis cup, Farlap's heart, <laughs> and Farlap. Thank you. No more questions. Seen my belt, Mark? <laughs> Where is the magician? I thought you said he'd be here. Yeah, that's what he said, 10.30. Well, there'll be a riot if he's not here soon. I'll call him. Hey, it's all dumb. I was about to call you. The magic show was meant to start half an hour ago. Yeah, well, you know, if it all went the way you expected it to, it wouldn't be magic, would it? <laughs> so, abracadabra, here I am. <laughs> I am the amazing Shane, the great procurer of tricks, stunts and misappropriations. <laughs> I am the master of making things appear and disappear. <laughs> now, where's the uh, birthday boy slash girl? <laughs> Step right up, sir. Maya, what did you get for your birthday? An iPod. Oh, an iPod! <laughs> well, let's take a look. Yep. <laughs> Thank you. Go away. <laughs> Frankly, I'm disappointed. I don't think the team are properly acknowledging Kevin. The last food station, he was totally ignored. They didn't even look at him. Like he wasn't there. It was humiliating for him. you, Kevin? <laughs> what is he, a block of flats? <laughs> no, no, Kevin. Doesn't matter that you didn't want it. The least she could do is ask. <laughs> now, allow me to make you gape with embroideries as I make a television appear in the flesh. Abracadabra roach! <laughs> nice. Very nice. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I will make you weak at the ovaries as I present from the depths of my nether regions 
A whippersnipper. Abracadabra roach! <laughs> now for my uh, final trick, I shall make a pair of set of tools. <laughs> make that till singular. Toolbox too heavy, man. That's all I'm saying. Ladies and gentlemen, please make welcome my lovely assistant, Roach. Think of a gun dog, man. Now uh, watch the amazing jumping man defy the jaws of death. I love you, Roach. You take a bow. And uh, now, ladies and gentlemen, uh, I, Shane the Amazing, will perform my final trick. I shall make Roach, the cake, the electrical goods, and myself disappear in a puff of smokes. Abracadabra. Come on, Roach. Grab your man. What were you thinking? I can't play it. I don't have a freaking plectrum. <laughs> I think it's alive. Could the annoying person sitting next to me please stop finishing my... Sentences for me. Oh, g'day. Uh, just wanted to give my two cents on the uh, new tourism tagline for Wedgedale. What about this? Wedgedale. What the bloody hell are you on about? <laughs> As you can see, I have a security badge. Not a day goes past where some wise ass doesn't come up to me and say, insecurity. <laughs> I mean, yeah, sure, it's a joke. But I do have insecurities, many insecurities. All of them stem from the fact that I don't have that much hair. <laughs> or Wedgedale. Could be worse. What I love about Wedgedale um, is the variety of houses. I mean, sure, they were all built in 1983, but they are all different in some way. <laughs> Unlike the men, who are all bastards. <laughs> Wedgedale. F***ing fly! Pretty.